We're gonna do a little bit more a on good golf, thing. but you're not gonna have a golf course in your backyard. So you need to get yourself some wiffle ball golf balls. Wiffle ball golf balls. This will allow you to be able to practice the fundamentals of golf right in your backyard. So I'm gonna use the same targets I was using for soccer. As you saw, I got a little creative putting them on the wall. So I have something to shoot at. Now what I'm doing with golf is the same concept of using my shoulders to generate power, keeping my head straight, good athletic stance, knees bent. The same fundamentals persist in all sports, in my opinion. All right, so this is a wedge. The clubs that make the ball go up in the air are always gonna have a big slant to them. And the ones that uh, stay close to the ground don't have much of that. It, that's uh, easy to remember. All right, so, dang it. I need more room on the swing. All right, so the swing. So the most important thing is always gonna be the rotation of your shoulders. So you wanna do these types of warm-up exercises. Doing it straight up is good, but even better if you can get your head down, keep it straight, and rotate your shoulders. It's gonna allow you to be able to swing a lot easier. And then the other stuff that needs to come into play for golf can be focused on. The swing has to be muscle memory. So. I like to practice my shoulders turned first, and then I like to get my club moving a little bit, kind of like a, like a baseball stance for, for batting, because your club has to go up. So you need to be able to go from low to high, and then release your shoulders. <coughs> so you don't want to do the shimmy, don't want to be tense, you relax your shoulders. That way you can rotate your shoulders, your club can go high. Keeping your head down, your shoulders, your core rotates around your head. Head has to stay straight, it's super important. going to make the ball go where you want it to do where you want it to go is to have that path kind of ingrained in your memory right before you swing so i like to just pull the the club back a little bit and find where i want the ball to be hit struck So that was a good example of pulling your head. That's why you have to practice. You, ha you have to get this ingrained in your, your muscle memory. That's why golfers practice so much. I'm not sure if I'm hitting that ball right. Wiffle balls are weird. So there's a lot to golf. So what I'm doing is putting the ball in the back of my stance. The stance is shoulder length apart, right? Nose over your toes, that's the position. So you want the ball sometimes to be forward of they got your toe and your front part of your, your stance, or sometimes in the back. I'll leave that to the golf pros to figure all that out <laughs> with you. Um, so I have a hard enough time figuring that out for me, but I, the swing, the fundamentals of the swing is what we're getting.
pull my head again. Keep pulling my head. All right, let's work on our golf swing. Since we're out here in the woods, we don't have to worry about breaking any windows. It's a great place to work on the swing. Now remember, the key to the swing is you gotta have a good base, just like any other sport, keep your knees bent, nose of your toes so you're balanced. And then as you rotate, you're rotating your shoulders, keeping your head straight, rotating your shoulders, then the club has to come up before you accelerate and you have to keep your eye on your target, otherwise you're gonna miss. The only way you can hit a golf ball is by keeping your head straight. So practice rotating your shoulders like this before you start to swing, head down, rotate your shoulders, club up and through. All right, let's hit some golf balls. See if I can hit that target. No, oh, breaking my club. All right. So I'm gonna do a practice swing. Bend my knees. Rotate my shoulders. Club up. Through. I want to point the club at my target when I finish. Just try to hit it softly, try to hit the target, not over it. So I don't want to swing as hard, so I don't turn my shoulders as far. It's a half turn, head down, club up. I didn't finish, I need to finish. This is really way better to practice, not on a golf course, in an area where it's safe to hit balls than to try to do it on a golf course at first. I got under the ball instead of hitting the ball because I lifted my head instead of keeping my head down. Woo, that was pretty close. All right. I got another ball. Let me crank one. Let me hit one hard. Hopefully I don't hit anybody. I'm going to hit as hard as I can by twisting as much as I can. Keeping my head down. If I don't keep my head down, I'll miss. 